let's look at this question. So we are given this expression and you're supposed to find the value of n. Okay, so um, let me rewrite the equation first. 11 uh, 2n plus 11 2 to the power of n minus 1 equals to 3. Okay, now uh, what we have is we have 11 to the power of 2n and 11 to the power of 2n minus 1. Okay, but on the first expression here, we see that 32 is divided by 11. Alright, so this brings us back to another indices uh, formula that says a uh, 1 over a to the power of n is a to the power of minus n. Alright, so if I take a term and I switching, uh, if I do a switch from numerator to, to numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator, the sign of the power will change. Correct, so similarly over here, 1 over 11 is the same as multiply by 11 to the power of minus 1, correct? And this is also multiplied by 11 to the power of 2n, okay? Then uh, plus 11 to the power of 2n minus 1 equals to 3, okay? So if I look at this, uh, two terms here, this uh, brings us back to another indices uh, rule, am multiplied by an equals to a to the power of m plus n, alright? So this uh, both of them have the same base of 11. So applying this rule, I get 32 times 11 to the power of 2n minus 1 plus 11 to the power of 2n minus 1 equals to 3. Okay, so this is just now a normal factorization. Okay, uh, just imagine, okay, if you can't see it so obviously, just imagine that this whole thing, if I can represent it by a. Okay, so this whole thing, if I represent it by a, how will it look like? Okay, how will it look like in terms of a, an expression? I can say that 32a plus a is equals to 3. Correct? Now, 32a plus a will be 33a is equals to 3. Correct? Because now a is represented by this term which is common to both. Okay, so this whole expression is now equals to 33 multiplied by 11 to the power of 2n minus 1 equals to 3. So 11 to the power of 2n minus 1 is equals to 3 over 33, which is 1 over 11. And 1 over 11, okay, as we saw just now, is the same as 11 to the power of minus 1. All right, and now uh, putting it together, we can say that 11 to the power of 2n minus 1 is equals to 11 to the power of minus 1. Okay, and since both the bases are the same, we can now say that both the power terms are the same. So 2n minus 1 is equals to minus 1. Alright, and 2n is equals to uh, 1 minus 1 which will be 0 and n is equals to 0. Alright, so the final answer for this is that n is equals to 0. Okay, so let me zoom out over here so we can uh, see everything clearly. Okay, so I hope uh, this explanation uh, is clear for this question here. Alright, thank you. Bye.